Hello, Jan Striak here from Counterpoint Research. We've just come to the last day of MWC 2025. So we will be recording some of our key takeaways from the week. I'm joined by Jeff Fieldhack, and we're going to chat a little bit about what we found interesting this week. So, yeah. Jeff, what did you find? Uh, I found a lot of excitement around fixed wireless access. Uh, Qualcomm has a new modem, the X85. Uh, there were some new products uh, with that modem. Insego uh, announced two products with that, um, that modem for fixed wireless access. Um, uh, Movandi talking about it, the global carriers talking about it. Um, yeah, Verizon and T-Mobile, specifically uh, Deutsche Telekom. As we're seeing smartphone net ads start to decelerate, uh, the ecosystem is really looking uh, for fixed wireless access to fill that void. So there's lot, yeah, lots of excitement uh, surrounding the fixed wireless access ecosystem. Jan, what did you find uh, exciting? Um, probably more uh, interesting was what I didn't find mm -hmm. um, this year in a slightly weird mm -hmm. way. Um, so, and that's around sustainability, mm -hmm. I think. So two, I remember two years ago at MWC, sustainability was kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. Every stand had, uh, well, for start plants and mm -hmm. lots of greenery around, talking about you know, emphasizing how green they were. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a lot of talk about sustainability and the need to be more efficient or more environmentally friendly going forward. Last year, there was already visibly less of that, but there was still um, a fair few conversations around that in, in that space. But this year, I mean, hardly anything. It was hardly it was really difficult to find anything um, on on sustainability. They, it was it was kind of there in an undercurrent. So obviously, the, one of the big features of this year was AI, um, and in the undercurrent of a lot of on the network booths and a lot of the operators talking about how they would be using AI to drive efficiency in their networks yeah. around network optimization and things like that. But generally, that was very much in the background yeah. and it was, quite, it was quite difficult to find um, much. So that, 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 is a, that is a bit of a shame. Um, but one, one thing that I did quite like and I was quite surprised with was the sheer size of the Xiaomi booth yeah. this year. It was huge and mm -hmm. two cars on it, which was, mm -hmm. always, which was always quite good. Um, but just the sheer range of mm. products that they have and, and connected products and the kind of nice clean design, mm. um, like the design language across across everything yeah, that that was that was really really quite good so yeah sustainability mm. not so much mm -hmm. but some really interesting products coming out and some really a really cool car which i hope will come to europe sometime soon yeah second that um we also learned that they're selling a lot of air fryers uh bundled with smartphones which yeah you don't see every day yeah that's not the usual typical model but yeah bundling lots of or any of their connected stuff with uh, with smartphones. That's that's quite an interesting approach. I also was impressed with uh, that booth with just the sheer girth of yeah products they had. Yeah, very impressive. Cool. All yeah. right. Well, thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Um, tune into some of our other videos to find out what the key highlights were from some of our other other analysts. But um, for us, it's a goodbye from MWC 2025.